All right, overnight, a big development. Special Counsel Bob Mueller releasing a memo recommending a lenient sentence for General Michael Flynn, saying the ex-Trump official gave substantial help to the feds. But does this memo prove any collusion with Russia? Here now to weigh in is attorney and conservative radio talk show host, Shandell Summer. Shandell, thank you so much for waking up uh, for us this morning. All right. Good so, morning, Carly. Good morning. So uh, President Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, says that this does not prove any collusion whatsoever. But other people are pointing out that the thing is so heavily redacted. How can you really tell? So yeah. where do you stand on that? I think that's true. It has been very heavily redacted. But I don't know that it provides any evidence of collusion simply because of the fact that the collusion was alleged to have occurred during the campaign and um, General Flynn's uh, actions were said to have occurred after the campaign. So it doesn't appear there was any collusion during the campaign. Yeah, I mean, that's what's interesting. I mean, when you're talking about this, the, the whole point of this was to see if the Russians and, and President Trump all conspired in a dark room to steal an election. But you've got Flynn talking to Sergei Kislyak twice uh, during the transition period about things like voting down a U.N. Security Council resolution, uh, about not escalating the situation when Obama slapped the sanctions on him for uh, dabbling in the election. Uh, it certainly doesn't look Correct. like they got it on Flynn. What can Flynn lead them to, though, I think is the question. Well, I think Flynn was intimately involved with the campaign, and obviously he has information that they find um, helpful. But yeah. the zero to six month sentence that he was facing in the first place doesn't seem to me to be that um, serious to where he had to cooperate. I mean, given his military background and his lack of prior offenses, he probably was looking at a probationary sentence anyway. The idea that um, Special Counsel Mueller has agreed to give him uh, a substantial cooperation and agreed to recommend probation to me is not that significant. Um, however, uh, the information that he provided is probably not that significant because I think they're holding it at bay and trying to be mysterious about it to uh, hoodwink the other people who they have under investigation into making statements. It's all a game of, um, of smoke and mirrors to me with this whole release of this particular memo in advance of the huh. other two memos on Manafort and Cohen. Uh, you know, one thing that people have been uh, sort of scratching their heads about for months now is that as the national security advisor, wouldn't it have been um, his job to talk to other countries about the incoming administration? Uh, is that accurate or, or did he break the rules there? Well, it's a violation of the Logan Act, which is not that big a deal, apparently. No one's ever been prosecuted for a violation of the Logan Act. However, he did it prior to taking office, prior to Trump taking office. Right. And that was what started the inquiry in the first place. Why he lied about it is the big mystery. There was really no reason to lie about it because he probably wasn't facing prosecution anyway. He was prosecuted for lying to the FBI. And of course, then that set forth a chain of events resulting in President Trump asking uh, FBI Director James Comey to go go light, apparently go right. light on um, General Flynn, a, a, a charge that President Trump has denied. Yeah. And that started the whole chain of events, which has led us to the point we are today with these pending indictments against probably Stone, um, Roger Stone right, yeah. and um, more more trouble for Manafort. Yeah, well, and we look at Roger Stone here. Uh, let's get to uh, to him here for a second. He's going to plead the fifth. Um, I think a lot of people think that that doesn't look good. It never looks good to me when you when you just won't talk. What do you think? I think it's okay to plead the fifth. I come from a criminal defense background, and um, that's a, a fairly routine thing for people to do, especially in the initial stages of any kind of investigation or charges. Yeah. Everyone takes the fifth. But the idea is that they don't want to give out any information in advance of these suspected indictments that um, Special Counsel Mueller is about to issue. There are 14 sealed indictments pending in the District Court of, uh, of Washington right now mm. that potentially could involve Stone. So of course his attorneys are not going to release any information and not going to let, allow him to testify before a Senate committee unless there's some grant of immunity, which would insulate him from any potential charges that special counsel Mueller might bring. Yeah, that's right. And okay. he called the questions from the Senate a fishing expedition that they were too broad. So Chandel, thank you so much for being with us uh, this morning. Very insightful. Thank you. All right. The time now is 19.